Hello YouTube, welcome back. Today I will do a full stack uh, video on my gold uh, collection. So um, what I wanted to show you first is how I store them and transport them. So I have these two, two um, not too big boxes uh, that I uh, use to bring uh, the gold to my um, storage location in the bank. So uh, very nondescript and uh, easy to carry. And what I have here is 30 ounces. Um, of gold and uh, let me break them out for you first and then uh, organize it for you because when I organize it it will be uh, pretty slow so I'll fast forward through that part in the uh, uh, in my video editing software so let's okay so let me show you these are my uh, uh, coins one ounce and half ounce and quarter ounces um, then I have uh, Chinese pandas uh, ungraded Chinese pandas. Uh, in here is the uh, golden capsules that are oddly shaped. Then my fractionals. Um, these are fractional uh, US coins and uh, a puff mint. And my bars. Okay, so let's uh, put them back in here for now. And then this one here is all my graded coins. So what I will have are um, bars that I will uh, categorize and then coins that are um, North American gold and, uh, and then I'll have another category of uh, Perth Mint Lunars, uh, Kangaroos and, um, and then Chinese Pandas and gold from the rest of the world. Okay, so I'll fast forward through this and we'll come back when it's all organized. All right, so I am back. So let's start off with Chinese pandas. Okay, so um, I have some graded uh, pandas. Um, I actually started out trying to get the um, uh, ungraded ones, but uh, I'm usually buy them within a certain price range. And uh, when I saw that some of these graded ones have um, uh, um, pretty good deals um, that were pretty close to the price for the uh, ungraded coin. I, I, I bought that instead. So I'm um, trying to do an early uh, set of pandas here. Um, right here we have uh, 1983, uh, second year that it was released. Uh, 82 is still on my list now, but I um, haven't gotten it yet. So 83 and uh, 86. And also, 88. And then with the graded pandas, I have an 85. And two 1987. So one is a uh, um, Shanghai Mint. is a S down, down here somewhere. And then the other one is Shenyang Mint with the Y. Okay. 
Okay, 87, and then, uh, okay, so that's from the 80s. Now it's the more recent ones. Here is a 2013. I think this is the only panda which uh, have three of them on there. And then uh, 2000, 2015. Quarter ounce. Oh yeah, so these these all here are quarter ounces. Um, this one's a quarter ounce. 2016, I have a um, eight gram and a fifteen gram. as well as a 30 gram or one ounce and for this year 2017 I have a 30 gram and a 8 gram which is equivalent to a quarter ounce okay so those are my pandas and now let's go to North America which covers the US Canada and Mexico. So right here are the gold eagles that I had just shown. Uh, one tenth ounce, uh, uh, various dates. Uh, most of this 2016. And here is a, my first gold eagle, the very first year, 1987, where the uh, year uh, here is in Roman numerals. Here's also an early version, which is, uh, it's the same year, it's the same year, but uh, uh, this one is in this uh, capsule. Then I have 2016. Design's the same, but it's a more recent one. So with the gold, uh, if I put them in my own air tights, I like the black ring because uh, um, I like the contrasting colors. Uh, for the silver that I usually buy, I, I don't have the rings because uh, uh, for one reason the Perth Mint stuff comes without a, ri a ring as well as the uh, a panda. So uh, I don't want to mix them uh, up and have different size tubes. So this is a uh, maple leaf. Uh, I think it's a 2004. 15, yeah, it's 2015 with the newer design that has anti counterfeiting with uh, the radio lines on the background as well as the uh, privy mark with the year uh, inside the small uh, maple leaf right there. Okay, then I got a gold buffalo. Only have one of these. This one is 0.999, is it three nines or four nines? Don't recall, but uh, yes. Three nines or four nine silver compared with the uh, gold eagles, which is nine one eight seven, I believe. So uh, this is not as pure as the gold buffalo. So these are quarter ounce eagles. Got these from uh, I think it was a deal with government, but these are two thousand sixteen. Okay, so uh, okay, so the U.S. and Canada got one of my belief. And now Mexico just showed off this uh, one ounce, 2016 BU Libertad uh, in my previous video. Uh, then I have a few quarter ounces from my previous videos. Um, there's a 2011, 2013, and 2015. Uh, oh, 14. I'm sorry. Here's the 2014, and this one is the 2013, and I think this is a 2000, oh, this is a 2011, and this one is a 2016. Again, the design is the same. Uh, I don't have the really old ones, which is a different uh, design, but I have that in the gold, in the silver. So quarter ounce Libertad has the single eagle compared with the uh, coat of arms from all the other um, uh, eagles that they had. So these are BU and now I have proof. So 
JM Bullion or Atmex had a, a big sale on uh, proof Libertad's uh, late last year, so I picked some up. Here's a 2016 quarter ounce. Yeah, I got two of these. And then uh, one tenth and one twentieth of an ounce. These are so small, can't make them out. Okay, so North America is here. So that's done, and now let's do um, let's do the rest of the world first, and then go on to Perth Mint. So rest of the world, here's a Cougaran, 1984. I got this, uh, I think, from my mother. I think she had uh, uh, bought this for us uh, for me a while ago. And here is a Austrian Philharmonic. This one is the old one, uh, which is still which, which still shows the uh, a denomination in shillings. Uh, the recent ones have uh, a euro denomination. So uh, even though the, the the major design is the same, uh, it is it's different in in that it shows euro. So maybe I'll go pick one of of that in the next year. Here is the um, Britannia. 2016, I believe, and this one is also the uh, uh, more recent design that has the anti-counterfeiting uh, stucco type background. And the reverse is similar, where it has the new uh, background. Then I have the Queen's Beast. Here is a one ounce lion from last year, and two quarter ounces. It's the same, and then this year I picked up a griffin, one ounce griffin, and a quarter ounce griffin. Okay, so these are my world coins. Now let's go on to Perth Mint. Um, got two kangaroos. First one is this uh, 2017. This one is for this year. One ounce kangaroo. Okay, so this come this came directly from the Perth Mint with the uh, capsule, so um, I don't have the black border on it. So here is the other kangaroo that I have is a 2000. Uh, I can't make the year out. 2013, I believe. So the design is very similar to 2017. I wish I would have gotten uh, one of the other ones that you know look a little different. Um, these. Both these kangaroos face uh, face to the right, so it can be uh, uh, mistaken for each other. Okay, so now I have my uh, uh, lunars. I tried to buy the quarter ounces for all the years, but um, you know, I mean, uh, for this year it's, it's the rooster. Uh, I just recently started stacking uh, gold uh, earlier this year, so um, I was only able to get um, you know the monkey and the uh, a rooster at uh, a reasonable market price. So all the other ones are pretty expensive, but um, I, I, I wait around until it comes to my um, target price, which usually is around $30 over spot. So uh, here is, is the goat. And back here I have the horse, 1 20th ounce horse, uh, MS-70. There's a quarter ounce horse, uh, MS, oh, PR 69. Oh, I guess this is a proof horse. Didn't pay that much more for that uh, than a BU, so I think I got a good deal on that. And then same as, uh, as the PR 69 for the snake. So that's as far back as, as I had gotten. Um, still keeping my eye out on the dragon, but uh, that one is pretty expensive. And then I have the one ounce rooster because it was, it was uh, on sale at, uh, I forgot where I got it from earlier this, uh, late last year, but this is around the time that it was avail readily available when the 
uh, I started stacking. The monkey haven't come down to my uh, price level yet, so maybe I'll just let that go. Okay, so then come to my bars. Here is the Fortuna Pamp Swiss. And this one, would, and they, they all come in the SA card, SA card and the uh, Certificate of Authenticity. And uh, actually, I like this one better. This is the newer Pamp Swiss because it's, it's uh, you know, more elegant, I think a more elegant design. Um, this side is similar to the Fortuna one. Let's check it out. Yes, the others, the reverse side is similar, but the design is different. This is the uh, Lady Fortuna, and this is Swiss on the side. This reminds me a lot like the Credit Suisse bar, which I like a lot. Um, only on the other side of this is uh, Stamp with Credit Suisse. So Credit Suisse, I think, has been uh, sold out to Valcombi right now. So I, I don't think they... Uh, I mean, they still make bars, but um, they're part of the larger uh, company. And then Elemento. Uh, love this design because uh, it has the uh, symbol of gold down here. Um, this was made, I think, with along with the uh, silver, where the silver has a uh, you know silver symbol as well, and silver has a coin. And uh, I've been waiting to see this come out in the round as well. So this is the Elemento. Then one of my favorites is the Perth Mint. I'm sorry, Royal Canadian Mint one ounce gold bar. This is a beautiful design. Looks just like the uh, uh, silver bar as well. And the back will reverse with the uh, symbol of the Royal Canadian Mint. And finally, my Perth Mint bar. So this is one of the more recent ones. Uh, um, you notice the SA card is black as opposed to green. Uh, some of the older, um, well actually the older bars came in, in a green uh, SA card. And you have the little kangaroos. Okay, so this, everybody, is my full stack of gold. It's 30 ounces, and first time I was able to break them all out and show you all. So, just wanted to fix this up a little bit more so it's more presentable. And that is my gold stack. Thanks everybody for watching. Um, probably we'll do a full silver stack in sometime in the future if, if uh, this turns out okay. But um, thanks everyone again for watching and talk with you next time.